Um, we're here today at Tumalo Creek in order to do some benthic macroinvertebrate sampling. Benthic macroinvertebrates are a excellent indicator of ecological health in our streams and rivers. In Tumalo Creek, uh, we mostly see red band trout. There's probably also some brown trout in there as well. Um, and it historically had populations of bull trout, although those are thought to be extirpated at this time. And all of these species, macroinvertebrates is their food. And so knowing the condition of the macroinvertebrates also gives you an idea about the forage for fish in those streams and rivers. To do the sampling, we use a D-frame kick net and go out into the creek and we take eight different samples that are one foot by one foot in size. And we compile all those together into one sample and send that off to a lab for analysis where they can tell us down to the species, uh, what invertebrates we're seeing, um, what families they're in. Uh, they give us a number of total abundance and all of that kind of information. The Deschutes Basin Habitat Conservation Plan was just finalized in 2020. In the plan, it mandates a change in the flow regime of the Deschutes River to increase the minimum flow that we see in the winter in the upper Deschutes River. Um, and historically, it's been incredibly low, only about 20 CFS in the winter. That's been improved to around 100 CFS now, but that's still a long way away from where it was historically. Um, and the Habitat Conservation Plan mandates that we bring it up, and so we should see a positive response, ecologically speaking. But we want to do this sampling now so that we know what the conditions are currently. And then once the river has increased the flow as mandated, um, or as the flow has increased, then we can go back and sample again and see if these flow changes have in fact helped the macroinvertebrate population. And as a result, the fish species and fish populations that we see in those areas. Um, we also do sampling on the main stem of the Deschutes with the macroinvertebrates. And in there as well, we have red band trout, brown trout, uh, mountain whitefish as well. And all of these are species that people are interested in for sport fish. And um, they're also just excellent indicators of health of the river. Benthic macroinvertebrates are uh, relatively short lived. And so you see a very fast response time to environmental conditions. So if there's some sort of pollutant or uh, problem, thermally speaking, or some sort of habitat alteration upstream, you see the difference in the bugs really quickly as opposed to with vertebrates, um, fish that could take a few years or more to actually see a change in the community as a result of that specific action. Also, they're incredibly easy to collect. Um, one person can go out with a net and get a sample all by themselves as opposed to the number of people that it would take to sample a river with electro fishing or sanding or any other sort of, or snorkeling, any other sort of sampling method that we do. It's relatively quick and easy. And so the reason that we're here at Tumalo Creek is because we're doing sampling in the main stem of the Deschutes River and we also need reference sites where the flow regime or the flow management isn't going to change over the next seven years. And then we can come back and sample these sites and use them as an indicator of what changes we might have expected to see if the flow hadn't changed. And so using that and these benthic macroinvertebrates, we can use these little insects to answer some big questions.